Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here this morning with uh, the update for, what's today? 529, it's Memorial Day weekend on Saturday and I'm still going at this, uh, this monster here. Uh, good news is this bike does have a name now. I'm not going to give you the, tell you its name until uh, we do a reveal here on it next week when we get it all completely done and buttoned up. Um, but the name is epic. It's the best name I've ever had. I think I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, or just for this, you know, for this bike is, is perfect. Uh, so things are really coming together. Um, I've actually crossed uh, 115 hours uh, so far on this bike. So when I was thinking it'd be 120 hours, I've missed by that. It's probably going to be closer to 140 before we get it done. Maybe 150. Um, but uh, so at this point, the front of the bike is complete um, and all of the wiring and all the accessories are installed. Um, so this is actually buttoned up and finished. Uh, and although the, uh, you know, the fairings and stuff, uh, painted parts haven't gone back on yet because um, we're still doing wiring in the central area of the bike. And once that's kind of completed, which it pretty much is now, uh, we'll start putting the fit in the shelter and side fairings and things. So, uh, Everything's pre-wired for the whole clear water lighting system and uh, you know portions of it are installed. The Darla lights down by the front wheel are completed. Uh, long ride windshields on. Our uh, accessory shelf and uh, Garmin are, are, have, are final installed. Uh, you can come around and look. I've got the driver's cockpit is actually all completed. All the wiring at the handlebars, charging ports and accessories are in place. Um, here, let me, let me have that real quick. So this is kind of an idea of what his cockpit's going to look like as he goes down the road. Um, the, that's the new Garmin Zumo XT, which is like light years advanced over previous Garmin models. And um, so we, the uh, TX, TPX laser jamming system's installed now. Um, that's pretty slick. I've got that in the glove box here. I'll just give you a quick look because I'm going to do a video on that another day. But down in there is the TPX laser jammer and an accessory battery in case he ever just needs to charge something else. Mounted in there. This is our new super ultimate cool glove box set up in there with insulation and a fan from electrical connection. So that's pretty sweet. All the wiring and everything on the side is done. These are switches that will be um, installed for the uh, clear water lighting. Everything's been made into a nice, neat harness, brought back into here where we're going to get a power distribution module installed um, eventually. So I'm going to hand this back over to my camera lady there, my lovely wife. Uh, we've machined custom mounts because he's going to have a six gallon auxiliary fuel tank in, on the, over the back seat. So we just finished machining these mounts. We're going to try and get them sandblasted real quick and get them to the anodizer for a rush service to get them done. Uh, and the, we're using a, a new style of uh, Fire Creek accessories uh, fuel tank here. And it has a, a much improved mount design, although the, the, the creator of this is, intends you to drill and bolt it to the plastic handles on the motorcycle and, and uh, that's just not my style so we're using our base plates from our uh, passenger grab rail system and then we've machined these custom mounts which will allow the the tank to be uh, adjusted vertically up and down because there's nice slots on the tank and uh, so we can leave an air gap between the tank and the seat so that if it rains or gets wet it's able to dry easily and also as he if he changes uh, seats um, then if the seat has a different height in the rear, he'll be able to adjust for that. Um, we had to give up on the Corbin seat. We tried everything possible to use it on this build, but it just wasn't possible. The, the Corbin seat is constructed with such a, so far set back that uh, there actually wasn't even any room for the gas tank. And even if we had to put a they have alternate bolts that, you know, they say you can get. So I went out to the hardware store and got alternate bolts to try and push the backrest forward. Even at that, and with our Traction Dynamics trunk setback kit, an inch and a half on it, um, it, it was, the uh, gas tank was just pinched in there solid, and that stack was up under the rider's arm. But more importantly, you're, you're set so far back with it, you 
you can't reach the handlebars. Even with the, the Horizon SST uh, handlebar system, you can't reach the handlebars. So uh, it would seem that you'd have to be six foot two or taller to use that saddle. I called Corbin, that's the only configuration they sell. Um, so we needed one for a guy who's, you know, average height, the rider's 5'10", 5'11", on this bike. Um, and so what we've opted to do is use the stock Honda seat. It does seem better on the 2021, a little bit. It's still, uh, it's, you know, gonna be up to this personal guy's butt if he decide if he likes it. So we put the stock Honda seat and a stock Honda backrest on and he's gonna start out with that and he's got uh, the beads he likes to ride with. He says it keeps him comfortable. So hopefully that meets his needs. Um, Cause once he starts, he's basically gonna be going four months without uh, hardly stopping. And um, so, uh, so we, they, we gave up on the Corbin altogether. And um, you know, everybody, any other saddles out there, uh, you know, everybody's got a long wait to get in line to get one. So we, the, we just had to contingency plan is beads and stock seats. So before, for him to take off with, uh, hopefully he's going to pass through Wingding and follow my suggestion in, um, Missouri and go around and visit all the seat manufacturers and vendors and see if he can find one that suits him there. And maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll, he'll be able to get an upgrade while he's in the middle of his adventure. <clears throat> now, um, so that's kind of where we're at at present. Uh, the things we have left to do, I'm finishing installing the trailer wiring today in the back and the back of the bike will be completed. We have one last set of lights to go on, which is uh, Gold Strikes uh, saddlebag lights, which do still work with the 2021. Um, so that product will work and we'll install that. I think that's the last you know, hard part item to install. And uh, then I'll be able to start putting uh, shelters, fairings, wiring up the switches for the clear water lighting system. And it'll start really looking like a motorcycle at that point. Um, the last two projects will be power distribution module underneath the saddle. And then the auxiliary fuel tank installation, which we've got the physical mounting worked out. So we'll just have to do the plumbing and hoses. And then we can light this thing off and take for a spin. So it's still actually, I think, has one, one mile or less on it. So I've never ridden it. Um, and uh, other than YouTube, the owner's never seen it. So he is uh, departing uh, Alaska this morning, probably just about at the time I'm making sometime today. Maybe while I'm making this video, he's going to be on a plane and, um, and headed our direction. So we should see him here. He's got a uh, stop and transfer a Harley from Oklahoma to Missouri where his brother lives and then he's taking a train over to Atlanta and I'll pick him up and we'll start fitting him to his bike and doing all the physical adjustments to make him comfortable. So uh, hopefully that all happens next week and he can start doing short rides around my shop here um, uh, over the next weekend and then before he really gets ready to start heading out for the big big journey. So. All right, so that's our update for today. We'll, we'll probably be one more after this. It'll be really looking like a bike, and then probably the last one will be a total reveal of everything we've done with the bike. So keep an eye out for these updates. They're, I know they're a little long-winded, but they're just for fun if you're interested in gold wings. So uh, my name's Max. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and I'll be back for more great content soon.